All right, well, I gotta take these leaf spring hanger bolts off, and I don't have a big ooga dooga, one of those big air guns, you know? And uh, I don't wanna make too much noise right now. So, I came up with this contraption. I got one of these torque multipliers, put on the socket, get it ready to go. The problem is, where's the handle? I don't have room to crank. So I made a couple of adapters. This adapter goes on here, well bam, like this. And then I got three eighths, the half inch, to three quarter, to one inch on this little drill. Put that in the adapter. Oops, I'm sorry. Take this adapter off. There's a lot of adapters. Put this on the low gear and, uh oh. Put on the wrong side. Look at that. <laughs> uh oh. Popped up. Who needs big ooga doobas? So I'm not sure what the gear ratio is in this drill, but I put it to a low gear, and this I believe is a almost 60 to one. So that's a lot of torque from this little tiny drill. I don't know if you're supposed to put uh, power tools on this, but it's not like I'm putting an impact on it. I'm just putting a drill. So. Should be all right. I just, I did two, four, I did six other ones. This is the seventh one, I got one more to go. And uh, so once it's kind of broken loose, then I'll put it to number two speed. Isn't that amazing? You can take off heavy lug nuts and or leaf spring hanger bolts that, or nuts that have been on there for years and are rusted with a little drill. That thing was like 70 bucks. This drill I've had for 10 years. It should have died already. There was smoke coming out of it one day. I, sh I thought it was on fire, it stopped working, and then one day it started working again. I yet have killed this drill. So Makita, please sponsor me. I love your tools. This drill is like 10 years old, and it still goes, and you can see what I'm doing with it. It's amazing. Boom, I got a fish wheel. Boom, I got a gooseneck. Boom, check that out. Oh, that looks so cool!